My earliest memories of being on the bay would be going with my grandfather. He used to have a sailboat, and uh, he used to just take me for weekends sailing with him. He lobstered after World War II and dragged for scallop. It's kind of where I grew my love for being on the water, crabbing off the back of his boat at night. The price of lobsters to the boat hasn't gone up in, I would say, close to 15 years. It's been flatlined. Cost of operating the business has gone up. Bait has gone up over the years. Cost of fuel has gone up over the years. Traps have gone up over the years. You know, it seems like the price of lobsters hasn't fallen suit, though. It just doesn't uh, seem to keep up with the inflation with the other parts of the industry. The money isn't what it used to be. The outlook, short term, doesn't look very good for it. My identity, I prefer to say, is I'm a lobsterman, you know, but the reality is I'm now a part-time lobsterman and I'm a mooring service guy and it's, you know, the lobstering is far less stress, but the bottom line is <laughs> very stressful because there's just um, not enough to keep pursuing the industry, in my opinion. Another thing I have to do in the winter months, I now drag for scallops, you know, it's a uh, Something I always wanted to do, but you know now it's pretty essential that I have a gainful job in the winter, and that's what I'm doing to kind of keep everything uh, status quo, you know, standard of living. I'm Manny Carinos. I'm 46 years old. I've been lobstering out of the Falmouth Town Landing since 1997, full time, trying to make a living as a lobsterman.